In today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, what if I told you that building you see across the street that you barely can see was a concert venue that Elvis played? Well, you're going to learn about it today. Stay tuned. It's going to be great. Just a second, Tom. Folks, this is Elvis Preston. I'd like to take this time out from music to tell you that you're listening to the to the number one request show in East Texas, Tom Perlman's Hillbilly Hit Parade. Thanks a lot, Elvis. That's right, right here at good old KSIJ, Gladewater, Texas. This is Tom Perriman, who Elvis just introduced to you on the Hillbilly Hit Parade radio advertisement from back in 1954. And Tom did a good deed for Elvis, Scotty, and Bill. So the story that I learned was Elvis, Scotty, and Bill was booked to play a town, and it didn't happen. So Poppy Covington, the guy right here at the microphone in this photo, he was the booking agent for the Louisiana Hayride there in Shreveport, Louisiana. And he called Tom Perriman one day here in Gladewater, Texas, and asked Tom if he knew anyone around town that would book any singers. And Tom said, yeah, I think I know a fella. He has a club on Highway 271, now Tyler Highway, and I think I'll give him a call. So Tom called his friend, who was the owner of the Mint Club here in Gladewater, Texas, and said that, hey, there was three fellas that's in Shreveport, Louisiana. They uh, had a gig, but the gig didn't happen, and they need a little help because they didn't have enough money to even get a hotel room or get to Memphis, Tennessee. So uh, they're looking for a place to play. Do you have room for them? And he said, yeah, I think I do. Who are the singers? And Tom Perriman said, Elvis Presley. So, of course, the guy didn't know who Elvis was. But that is how Elvis booked the Mint Club. And these photos that you see now are from inside the Mint Club when Elvis played here in 1954. The dates, we do not know the exact dates. It's either late November 54 or December 54. And they're leaning more to it being either December 14th, 15th, 16th, or 17th, 1954. And they think Elvis, Scotty, and Bill played there more than one time during those dates. So yeah, man, we, we can put Elvis in a little club called the Mint Club in Gladewater, Texas. And I learned Tom Perriman said Elvis made $90 for this show or shows and of course out of that ninety dollars elvis had to pay scotty and bill as well so he didn't make 90 bucks he made half of that i assume so you see why elvis scotty and bill was broke during these early days but hey he was a singer he was making his dream come true and we'll do crazy stuff for our dreams i can tell you that so these pictures that you have been seeing are from inside the mint club of Elvis Scotty on stage and Bill on stage. And this photo is of Elvis signing an autograph for a fan inside the Mint Club. And you see behind him, you can see Bill Black's bass. And look at this photo right here of this chick with Elvis inside the Mint Club. So guys, let's learn a little bit more about the Mint Club and uh, well, let's see it all these years later. That was let these cars pass by. That was the Mint Club, and Elvis played there in 1954, November 54, and earlier. That club, guys, was when Elvis played here, right here on this land. It's been moved across the street. It became a church, and it was moved across the street. But I'm gonna show you an aerial. There's the club. That I am zooming in to you. That building right there is the building you see right there in that aerial. And yeah, it puts it right here, just off the highway. Elvis rock and rolled out here at the Mint Club once upon a time. And luckily, the building 
is still right there. Let's go see if we can explore it. We are lucky. It has seen its better days. But it's still here. It's being forgotten about. The trees growing around it. And thousands and thousands of cars passing by it every day without even realizing any history of this old looking worn out shack out in the middle of nowhere. But if the walls could talk and if you could hear the music, let's listen. So it was used as a church like a lot of early Elvis places. And it was moved to this land, I believe, when it became a church, is what I read. They literally just moved it right across the street, which is, is good because they saved the building. A little like water tower over there. But man, this is so historic, guys. Could that door be open? Hope it is so we can at least capture inside. Guys, I hope you realize how epic this is because this is early Elvis history. He's Scotty and Bill are playing in structures like this in 54 and 55 as their career starts and I believe they had just quit their day jobs to become full-time musicians and traveling and at this point inside this building they're just happy to make money to get back to Memphis. Hope you enjoy my effort to crawl out here to get as close as I can to the Mint Club. If you did please share it with your Elvis friends, like it, and don't double dribble subscribe and if you'd like to donate to my effort for helping me with gas because gas are crazy these days i have a donation link in my video and you don't have to do that but if you would it goes to all my travel expenses because i am trying to capture this stuff before this building is gone forever elvis played here and it is still here in the woods Here is the other side of it. So I'm not sure what was the front or what was the back. I assume this is the back. But I can't tell you unless I walk out there. What do you guys think? Texas, should I do it? I can't hear you. So guys, I did it just so you guys can get a closer look at it. Look how big the place was. It was a big building. Wow. Another place, guys. Another place, but it's right in the way as the seconds tick off. Somebody's always shining down on us. 
in helping me find these locations. So guys, this place has definitely seen its better days. I tried to find a, a way to look inside, but I can't. Just for historical purposes only, that's of course all it is, nothing else. We have to capture these places before this bad boy is gone. Hope you've enjoyed this. I didn't enjoy walking through all of this to get here, but uh, I enjoy bringing these shows to you so I had to do it. So if you're in Gladewater, Texas, look for this Lambert's Liquor Store and just go past that. And start looking on your right until you see it. It's all grown up though. But it is right there on your right and then look directly across the street a little to its right and look for this like little pull off area right here and just know that through my research I put that club right out here when Elvis, Scotty and Bill played and since I'm here I want to just walk out here and just see if I can see a foundation of any type to see if that building could have been. Look here. There's rock right there. Just trying to mark the spot. tell there was something back here and you definitely know what it is yeah cool so just envision it at a little old building it used to be the mint club Right here on this highway in Gladewater, Texas. And it was right here where I'm standing. A little more history, guys. Thank you, whoever you were that moved it across the street and saved it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis Presley, Scotty Moore, Bill Black was here, right behind me. Once upon a time, inside that building, Elvis at a concert and the original location was just right across the street i don't know how they moved it across the street but i'm just glad it's still here this is worth my gas money and my trip to walk out here in the woods make sure there's no snakes around which i still are trying to make sure of and bring you these kind of places and to stand here and see the size of the building and know these, these were the places Elvis was playing at when he first started out and was making a name for himself. Next time you're in town, just look for it off the highway here. Elvis playing right there. That gives me a thumbs up on this video, a share and don't double dribble subscribe, right? This type of content, me and the spa guy, that's what we bring to you. Thanks for watching, we appreciate you. I'll see you down the road next time.